Yes guys, my name is Morsi and welcome to episode 15 of my FIFA 21 Road to Glory series. For episode 15 already is insane, we're smashing through the videos, foot champs is in full swing, 20 wins, gold one was confirmed in last episode. We have 6 games left, a massive 6 games, we only have to win half of those to get our goal which is Elite 3 in the first weekend league. Is it possible before this video really starts, apologies for the dead trim, my barber's is shut, I'm working on getting a haircut soon. Anyway, team is stayed the same, making the most out of our loan Mbappe and Zidane going into this one. Six games is all it stands between us. Three wins is all it's going to take to get Elite 3, the promised land. I would love to hit Elite 3. That would be fantastic in the first weekend league. As far as the team and the gameplay is going, I'm enjoying it. I've got no real complaints. I mean, gameplay, some matches have been a bit delayed, but it is what it is. It's foot champs, it's what you expect. Player-wise, all have been strong as, uh, as I expected, obviously. Bamiyang is probably awesome. He's probably the standout player. Anyway, enough jibber-jabber. The first game is underway against a bit of Tube, a Spurs fan by the looks of things. I had to, I had to show up, didn't I? I had to step up and perform in this one, but it doesn't start off brilliantly. Fabinho creates a bit of space for Jesus, and that is 1-0 down already. Not the ideal start. This guy was a decent player. Probably one of the best players I've played so far in my foot champs run. Once again, as you can see, we're late on in the game now. 72nd minute. Gets a bit lucky with the, the through ball, but the back heel is sublime and fair play to him. We're going to take a first al in the episode. Not ideal scenes. We wanted to start off strong with a victory and push towards elite three, but it's not going to happen by the looks of it. We're going to take a loss already and that leaves us with five games. A massive five games coming up. Sweatbands were on, music was playing, I was in the zone. Cup of coffee, sips in between games. But when we're playing teams like this, what can you expect? We're in the sweat zone central now. Ronaldo, Neymar, Mbappe, Renato Sanchez, everybody has him. I need him. Okay, I need him in my team. I need to make that happen. A little bit of skill for St. Maximum here to it. Mbappe. Mbappe, by the way, unreal. As you would have seen in the last episode, absolutely unreal player. Bit of dribbling, creates the space. Without him gets unlucky with the shot. Deflection, Sane, big leap for the big man. And he smashes that into the far corner. Solid start, 1-0 up. I'm thinking, you know what? I've got the better of this guy. I'm feeling confident. Opponent thinks different. Renato Sanchez on the attack here. Neymar Jr., unreal dribbling this year on the card. Once again, my own downfall. I commit too many defenders across the box, creating space for Douglas Costa to get a free shot on goal. I need to work on that, I need to snap out of it. That makes it one all. Opponent's not done, as you can see. Mbappe, or it's Neymar, they look very similar in game. Gets the goal, putting him 2-1 up, and it became a bit of a white rush, okay? I tried to keep up, I tried to push forward, I committed too many players, and my opponent gets the deflection, gets the space, and it falls to Ronnie, and Ronaldo puts, uh, puts him 3-1 up. Pretty sure I played this guy before in Rivals or Foot Champs earlier on. I recognise his game attack. Either way, two losses to start today's episode off. The worst possible start. Four games. Four games is all that's left between us. And we need to win three of them. Is that possible? I don't know. You're about to find out. I'm excited for you guys to see this. As you can see, I don't want to choke elite in the first weekend league. That's been my goal. I want the team of the week pack, especially with the leaks that I've seen and how well Werner, for example, is probably going to get one and Bappe might get one. Some big players to get in the red picks and the team of the week pack, which will be on my channel Thursday, so keep an eye out for that one. Straight into our third game. Very strong defence, as you can see. Mendy, Ramos, Gomez and Trent. But that's fine. A little bit of play between Aubameyang and St. Maximum here. Kind of holding up, keep it composed. See Martial run in the middle and a decent finish for the Frenchman. Puts me 1-0 up. And I knew from the start of this game I had beaten this guy. He was good, yeah, but I just, I fouled myself. I don't know what happened here, but Cancelo decided to just ignore the runner. It didn't lock on. I'm noticing that a lot, especially when you're pushing forward and trying to push out with defenders. The lock-ons aren't registering as well as what I'd like them to. I don't know if it's just me or my defending, but it didn't work and he does go and score, unfortunately, with Bobby Firmino. And this is the first time I think I've played Bobby Firmino. Actually, you're realising I'm playing Bobby Firmino. Normally, not a, people, not a lot of people use him because of his pace, but he's a decent card, I guess, on the ball especially. Anyway, 
Leroy Sane with the pace in behind here. I see Martial in the middle. Sweat, sweat, sweat. I want the wins. Elite three is needed. Whip it in. Martial on the end of it. Happy days. Get a free kicker in the 40th. Nice little layoff here. Wijnaldum takes up the ball. Van Dijk of all people with a little bit of silky skill moves. Into Pierre Emerick. Bottom corner. And that's a pause. Is my man giving us the first win of the episode? Yes, he is. Soak it in. Absorb that rage quit energy because we need it. We've got three games left now to be able to secure Elite. It's getting sweaty, okay? It's getting sweaty. The tunes have turned up a level. We're going hard. And this is the team we've got to get past. Inform Lewandowski, Sun, Bale, Kante. That defence again is stacked. Absolutely stacked. And let's see if we start strong. We do. Gomez gets wrong sided by Pierre Emerick of Bama Yang. And he puts us 1 0 up. Nice little fake shot to create the space in behind the defender. And a finesse shot into the bottom corner. Feeling good. Opponent does respond quickly though. Leroy Sane gets a bit lucky here with the clearance. And that he did not mean that pass. Let's be real. This game frustrated me a lot. I remember watching this back. Once again, the opponent gets ridiculously lucky here. Yeah, nice Berber spin, but it's a penalty. Sometimes foot champs does all it can to play with your head. Don't let it get you guys. I didn't in this one, but watching back, I don't understand how I did it because it's frustration nation. Bale steps up to take the penalty and he puts it down the middle. 2-1 down, not ideal. Lewandowski on the ball here. I've committed with Verge, that's my fault. Sun in behind, and he smashes that in the corner. Sun's quality, fair play, decent goal. My mistake in defence, it's fine, I'll take that one. Genie Wijnaldum, gets a bit lucky here, whips it across. How has he saved that? I remember leaving a few clips in this just to kind of show you the un unlucky parts of the game, essentially. Aubameyang creates the space, smashes it. I remember someone telling me Aubameyang's shot power is weak in this game. I beg to differ because it's ridiculous. So I end up committing quite a bit of few uh, players at the pitch here. An opponent gets me on the counter-attack. To make it 4-2, frustrating. Get a chance here with Bamiyang to say maximum. He's got to score this and he hits the post. Another post here. I think I hit the bar early on in this game as well. And as I said, I'm throwing the players up the pitch and it just backfires. Scoreline should not have been 5-2, but it was. And it's a loss, which means we've got two games Oh no, hold up, never mind. We get a goal, we get a goal back. Mbappe, once again, fake shot around Varane, bottom corner. Players class, get him, I want him, I need him. Let me pack him here, please. But let's let's get into this one, boys. I'm going to let this play out. Two games left, and we match up against somebody who you might recognise as Gamer Tag. I didn't necessarily at the start, but watching it back, it looked a bit familiar, so I'm going to dip out of this one real quick. I'm going to let the editing take over, and I'm going to let you watch me play against a pro player in a must-win foot champs game. I'll catch you in a second. Enjoy the edit.
Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Sam Maxima has it. Dom Mbappe! We wondered if a goal was forthcoming, but it has arrived now. As you could see guys, we got ridiculously lucky, we rode our luck, we didn't sit back, we tried to defend to the best of our ability and we got the one chance and we took it. GG's to my opponent, you deserve the win, I'm not going to lie but I'll take it. And that, it enraged me, it produced the fire inside me and I knew I was going to get elite. I had no mercy going into my last game, as you can see a Yang puts me 1-0 up. Unreal scenes, pure emotion. At the time, I recognized his name. I did a little Google search and saw that he had about 30,000 followers on Twitter. And he was actually live on Twitch at the time to 2,000 people. I believe he's a Spanish pro player for Falcons, I believe it is. If it's not Spanish, I'm sorry. I'm not 100% certain, I'm pretty certain it is. But either way, we come off with an unreal victory that will go down in the history of this road to glory. And that set us on the way to confirming our elite free status for the weekend. And Bappe makes it 3-1, straight from centre. We're on the attack. Fred into Aubameyang, into Mbappe. Little ball gets lucky for Fred, but Aubameyang has the space. And that's going to be all she wrote. Maddan0358 is going to do us the honours. Of rage quitting and elite three is confirmed we have done it we have secured elite in our first foot champions weekend league on the road to glory the first weekend i'm lost for words we've done it the sweat the blood the tears the first weekend elite three is confirmed three team of the week packs 100k pack and coins to boot get in my club unreal run i wouldn't have had it any other way two games two to win we beat a pro and we destroy our last opponent and Elite 3 is confirmed. And anyway, guys, I've been Morsi. It's been a pleasure. I'm losing my voice now. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, like, comment. Let me know how your week in league went. Stick around. Watch my content. You know, you might enjoy it. If you do, please do subscribe. All right. Anyway, it's been a pleasure. I'll catch you in tomorrow's episode. See you later.